My name is Selena Raglan, and this is my prose performance piece, The Show Must Go On. The show must go on. Woozy, dizzy, whatever the matter, I have to suck it up. Womanhood can and will throw me far worse curveballs. Twelve o'clock comes and goes. Let me out! Bang! Bang! Quiet, I whisper to my stomach. We're in church. Someone's going to hear you. My eyes roll so far back in my head, I can see the pink flesh that is my brain. Again, I feel the bang, bang on my gut from the inside. I take 200 MGs, hoping they'll subdue her for a while. Cold water trickles down my throat, flooding the room she occupies five days of every month. The flood dazes her for a few brief minutes but nothing can end her reign of terror. Back on the outside, I get looks of worry or disgust. I can't really tell which. A tear trickles down my right cheek. I can't take it, but I have to. I have no choice. Showtime, let's go, let's go! Uneasy on my feet, my knees buckle and my body sways. Nervously, my eyes dart from Viv to Rob and back again. Tears blur my vision, but I can't surrender. Hand on my chest, I listen to the sweet anthem of our caramel and chocolate colored people. Lift every voice and sing. I try to stick it out for 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes and it'll all be over. But just before the finish line, I drop. No one even looks my way. Good, I think. I can't take the attention from the other performers. That just wouldn't be fair. Sound slows, but time speeds up. My head is spinning, but it's my turn soon. I sit until the last possible second. Then I stand and do my thing. One down, two more to go. I take my position like a trained soldier and await my cue. And a little puff puff and a little sniff sniff promises to clear up that mental haze. Here we go. And one day you'll wake up and the neighborhood that was yours isn't yours anymore. Yes, I'm almost there. I'm so close I can taste it. Wait, that's not victory I taste. It's breakfast. Damn, I almost had it in the palm of my hand. I could actually feel my success slipping through my fingers. I have to choose now. Run or risk ruining the red carpet surrounding me like an oasis of my own blood. I run. I run through the audience, out the door, down the hall. <laughs> there goes my glass of water and my mini wheats, all into the toilet. Right on my heels, I hear Robert. Sweetie, are you okay? Did you eat something? Do you want some water? I want to answer, but there's no room for words to come out. When there's a lull in the uproar, I muster up the energy to mutter, yes. The group finishes the performance without me and comes running to my aid. I push their hands from my space, muttering one word, don't. Rubber rushes back with a box of tissues. I never realized he had even left. They're from my runny nose, which I hadn't even known was running. But I figured I might as well catch it. <laughs> I guess I have a little room for internal humor. Take that. I whisper to the monster inside. My eyes water, not from the pain, but from the disappointment that isn't there. And all the love. The care is overwhelming. I'm not used to so much love at once. It's official. This is family.